بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ان دس سیریز آف لیکچر وی آر ڈسکسنگ دی ایڈزاپشن کائنیٹکس اور دی ایڈزاپشن ڈیٹا انالیسس بفور دس وی ڈیڈ دی کائنیٹکس ٹو ڈٹرمن دی ریٹ آف ریئیکشن وی ڈیڈ دی پی ایف او پی ایس او سوڈو فرسٹ آرڈر سوڈو سیکنڈ آرڈر فرسٹ آرڈر اینڈ انٹرا پارٹیکل ڈیفین آئیسو تھرمس دین آفٹر دیٹ We analyzed our data and plotted the Langmore model, Friendlich isotherm model and, and today we will discuss about dubinin Radovskovich dr isotherm model. Basically the dr isotherm model, it, it, tell, it tells us about the sorption energy or apparent energy of the sorption, adsorption and desorption process. Moreover, on the basis of energy, we can say that if the energy or the apparent energy absorption is very low, then on the basis of that, we can say that it is a physiosorption reaction. And if the energy obtained after plotting the model, after plotting the data and analyzing the model, if the apparent energy absorption is high, then we can say that the, the process is chemosorption. So this is the non-linear equation of the dr model qe is equal to qm exponent minus k epsilon epsilon square minus k is basically the dr constant epsilon epsilon is adsorption potential this is adsorption epsilon is adsorption potential while qm and qe you already know that qe is adsorption capacity at equilibrium and adsorption maximum adsorption capacity is qm the linear linear form of this model is ln qe is equal to ln qm minus k epsilon square so y is equal to mx plus c or m value will be equal to minus k minus k will be our slope and ln qm is our intercept so from the intercept we will calculate the ln qm and from the slope we will calculate the minus k value epsilon square as i told you that it is the adsorption potential and it shall be calculated through this formula epsilon is equal to r r is the universal gas constant which uh, whose value is is 8.314 joule per mole per k into t t is our temperature this temperature we will take it in the kelvin into 1 plus 1 over ce and our energy will be equal to 1 over 2 k we will calculate k from the model sorry from this model from this equation and then from there we will calculate the uh, apparent energy of sorption so in our experiment the same data which we used in langmuir and friendly adsorption model the same data we will use over here c not is our initial concentration and ce is our concentration and equilibrium as our concentration is in ppm or in milligram per liter so we will convert these into mole per liter as our energy or final energy or the universal gas constant value is in mole and the energy is also in mole kilojoule per mole so we will convert these values into mole per liter so for converting into mole per liter as it is mole is the molecular weight in grams in 1000 ml or in 1 liter one mole is basically defined as the gram or molecular weight the unit of molecular weight is grams per mole so our value is in milligram we will convert it into grams and then we will convert it into moles so for converting in this value into grams first of all c not for converting this value into grams just simply divide it this with with 1000 as 1 grams consists of 1000 milligrams 
and then converting this value the grams into moles gram per liter into moles per liter we will divide it with the molecular weight of our pollutant in our case we used reactive orange 16 dye ro16 dye so we do we will divide it with the molecular weight of the reactive orange 16 if you have some drug you know the you you should know the molecular weight of that drug if you are using some metal you should know the molecular weight of that metal so you will divide this uh, divide to convert into mole per little you will divide that value to milligram uh, that you will divide it that value with the molecular weight so this is our uh, this is our uh, c naught in moles per liter this value we will lock over here so we could use it throughout over here okay so you can see that our d20 value is appearing in all all the concentration say we will do with the ce so the value is in milligram divided by 1000 to convert it into grams and then again divide it divide this value with the molecular weight of our pollutant or drug pharmaceutical drug or uh, our metal or any nutrient which you are absorbing so this is our ce value this is our ce value qe you already know how to calculate QE value QE is equal to C0 minus CE divided by W multiplied by volume uh, multiplied by volume W is our mass of the adsorbent and V is volume of the uh, reaction solution volume is in liter while mass or W is in gram I have mass is in gram so I uh, we used one milligram per ml so it is 0 0.01 gram and 0 0.01 liter so you will simply C0 minus CE multiplied by volume sorry multiplied by volume divided by mass or weight okay these values we will lock these values if in your case mass and volume is different if in your case in your case mass and volume is different then you will use that values over here mine is same so i'm using the, the same values so this is our qe okay over here you can see that y is equal to mx plus c this is our mx and this is c intercept so our epsilon square will be on x-axis while ln qe will be our y-axis so to calculate ln qe ln ln of qe value so this is our ln qe value we will drag this one and to calculate ln qe our value as i told you that it is 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin as the temperature is in kelvin we our temperature was 22 degree c 22 degree C so we will convert this into is equal to convert this 22 into Kelvin plus 273.15 so this is our we will drag these values we will drag these values till the end now as you know that to calculate epsilon to calculate 
epsilon over here the adsorption potential we have the r value we have the t value but we will calculate the 1 over c e value so that's why over here i have written down the 1 over c so this will be equal to 1 divided by the c e value the one which we convert it into mole per liter we will use that value so 1 over c e value and now in the formula in epsilon we require 1 plus 1 over c e so that's why we will add 1 with the 1 over c e value and okay in this formula this is ln 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 1 over uh, is equal to rt ln 1 plus 1 over ce value so we will calculate the ln of this value ln of this value so this is ln 1 over 1 over 1 plus 1 over C E value. So our epsilon will be equal to R, the value of R multiplied by the value of T, then multiplied by the value of this. All these three will be multiplied together to obtain epsilon value. So this is our epsilon value and then we will make We will take square of this value. So this is our epsilon square. So we will take ln QE and epsilon square value, epsilon square value on our x-axis. So we will use the origin to plot this data. So, our epsilon value will take our epsilon value like this and ln q e value from here the ln q e value and we will plot a scattered plot and then we'll go to the analysis fitting and we'll make a linear fit okay and from here you can see that our intercept Our intercept value, just put the intercept value over here. Just copy the intercept value. Copy the intercept value and paste it over here. While the slope value. copy the slope value and paste it over here this is our slope value and this is our intercept value our slope if you see the equation our slope is equal to minus slope is equal to minus k so k will be equal to minus of the slope so k value will be equal to minus 1 multiplied by the slope value so this is our k value for qm you can see over here intercept is equal to ln qm intercept is equal to ln qm and qm will be equal to exponent exp 
exponent of the intercept value. So this will be our QM value. Okay. Next, in our formula, we see that our energy value is 1 divided by 2K under root. So first, we will calculate the 2K. This will be equal to 2 multiplied by the K value. So this is our 2K. So to calculate energy, the energy value is 1 over under root 2K. So this will be equal to 1 divided by square root of this value. So this is our energy in kilojoule per mole, 10,922 kilojoule per mole according to this data. So in this process, we can see that our in, in the absorption energy is very high. This means that our absorption is following the chemosorption process. Now let's go to the graph, play with this graph. So this is our So, epsilon square make it square we know that change this long name to rich text and then convert this 2 into square so if you see the graph this is our epsilon square, this is ln QE. Hopefully, now you understand how to plot the DR model, its equation, and then how to calculate the energy, the absorption energy from this model. If you get some information from this video, Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you need any help, email address is over here. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.